Hello guys, I am Yakdeep from Triple E and then I am a coming year 3 student in the next academic year. So I score an A plus for E203 semiconductor fundamentals. So I'm here to guide you along on in studying for this particular subject. So E203 is semiconductor fundamentals where you'll be calculating mobility of electrons, we'll be calculating current concentration of electrons, something like this. So it is not very difficult and I tackle this subject by doing lots of lots of pass here. I repeat, I, once I finish this pass here, I repeat it again. Then before exam, I repeat it again. That's how I tackle this subject. So it is not very hard as long as you can finish the pass year papers. So let's look at the first chapter, semiconductor crystal structure. And then under this chapter, we'll first do a, an introduction of it. We'll talk about what electron configuration is and mention some related info about quantum states. Then next, we'll talk about atomic bonding, how atom and atom bond together. Next, we'll talk about the characterization of semiconductor. What kind of characteristic semiconductor has? So let's start. Let's look at the most basic thing in semiconductor, which is electron configuration. So before I move into electron configuration, let's look at what atomic number stands for. So atomic number can be represented as the number of protons in an atom. And this atom is neutral. So for example, silicon, or I can represent it as SI, has an atomic number of 14, which means when it is neutral, you have 14 protons and 14 electrons. So the question is, how do you draw the electron configuration? So there's a few things you have to understand. First, there is something called shell and then something called subshell and you have some number of states this state is quantum states and you have maximum number of electrons under that specific states okay so let's see shell shell i can represent as n so when n equals to 1 which is the first shell so let's draw it out this is your silicon so first shell this is for example your first shell so n equals to 1 for first shell, you have only one subshell, which is called S subshell. Okay, so S subshell has two states, remember. Two times one. Two states. So the maximum number of electrons occupied by this subshell will be two as well. So you draw two. Remember, silicon has 14 electrons. So now you have two electrons inside this. So let's draw a line. So you move into the second shell. So you move into the second shell, which is n equals to 2. So for the second shell, you have two subshells, which is s and p. As usual, under s subshell, you have 2 times 1 states. So the maximum number of electrons under that state will be 2. How about p? p will have 2 times three states which is six states so you have six number of electrons maximum number of electrons occupied by that six, by that states so under sub under shell two you have eight electrons so just draw eight electrons so currently we have filled in ten electrons we have four more electrons so let let us move into shell number three n equals to 3. So for n equals to 3, there are 3 subshells, S, P, D. As usual, the number of states, this one will be 2 times 1 for S, 2 times 3 for P, and 2 times 5 for D. So you have 2 states for S, you have 
6 states for subshell P and you have 10 states for subshell D. So the number of maximum number of electrons will be 2, 6 and 10. So we have 14 right? So we have 10 here. So we have 4 more at 3. So this is how we draw it out. But how do we write down the electron configuration? Let's see the next slide. Okay, remember it has 14 electrons. Okay, so let's start writing. Remember in first in the first shell n equals to 1, you have two states and one subshell s, and then number of electrons is 2. So we write something like this. The first shell subshell s and two electrons okay so let's move on how about the next one the next state is shell 2 subshell s two maximum number of electrons so you write shell 2 subshell s two number of electrons the next one is shell 2 subshell p six number of electrons shell 2 subshell p six number of electrons Next, remember we have four more only. Okay, so the next one is 3s2. So you write 3s2. Then you have two more. So you have 3p, not six. Okay, you have two more only. So 3p2. So 3p2. So this is your electron configuration of silicon. So let's look at more example. For example, boron or B. Okay, boron has an atomic number of so a, atomic number of five. So write down the electron configuration of boron. So it will be one s two. So you have two electrons here. Two s two. Two more electrons. So two plus two, and you need one more. So which is 2p1 okay so this is boron how about phosphorus so phosphorus is p and it has a atomic number of 15 so how do you write the electron configuration so you have 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 so here you have 10 electrons but you need five more 3p p can hold six electrons but then you have only 15 so 3p 5 so this is how you write down the electron configuration of various elements